Hi, the time is now 8.10 by exact UTC on the 23rd of June. I've been looking at Mobius strips. Um, here's a Mobius strip. It's basically a loop with one flip. Um, and I've been cutting them down the middle along this line right here. Here's the resulting like um, loop. It's got four twists. I've been working on the counterclockwise Mobius strips and the clockwise Mobius strips. You can see they're mirror images of each other. The uh, yeah, mirror images. Um, and what I've been doing is um, intersecting them, as you can see right here. I'm adding snips so it flattens them. And there are um, 10 solutions. You can see all the solutions right here. Uh, above the line are the clockwise solutions. And below the line are the counterclockwise solutions. Um, from these, I've been laying them on my page. And I've been turning them into, um, first of all, uh, multigraphs. Sorry, graphs. They're directional graphs. And also uh, knot notation, such as here. And I've been working out... The, the knot notation. The knot notation falls in two groups. It's either over, under, under, over, or um, over, under, over, under, such as, well, who cares? Here it is right here. Um, over, under, over, under, under, over, over, under. Um, when you line them up, you can see that there's only two options. They're either alternating or they're in pairs. Because um, there's always, uh, they're always uh, symmetrical. There's always two overs, two unders. And what I found very interesting is that they come in symmetrical pairs. So here's the clockwise um, solution, the first one, where there's a loop on the outside and a loop on the inside. And you can see that they only differ by the position of the colored edges. Here, black's on the inside and white's on the inside. And this loop here, black's on the inside, white's on the inside. You get the idea because the Mobius strip is only one surface. Um, but when you cut it down the middle, you get two surfaces. And you can see where the surfaces come from. Uh, here's my Mobius paper that I created by double side photocopying and when you add an extra edge down the middle the on each side of the scissors you get the edge that's the same so adding an edge adds an extra surface and here's the surfaces you have the black surface and you have the white surface and you can see that with these solutions they come in pairs so they're identical these knot notations are identical here it's over and also here you can see it's over. That's the knot notation. Uh, here's the second one. We have two loops on the outside. Then we have the two loops on the inside. And again, you can see the white and the black. If we go down from the clockwise versions to the counterclockwise versions, here we can see we have white on the inside, white on the inside. And these two puppies, if I stand them up, they are mirror images of each other. If I lay this one here and I tip this one up this way, uh, these guys clearly are on the back side of a plane that's transparent and the knot notation is reversed. If we look on the top, the knot notation is reversed. This is over here and it's, well, it's opposite. It's over and it's over on opposite sides of each other. I didn't explain that very well. We can look at it again. If we look here on the bottom, the knot notation is over and here it's over. Actually, I mixed up. They're both over. Um, I'm a bit confused. Yeah, that's right. Because the edges go... The black side goes to the black side. And they're, they're symmetrical. That's what it was. Sorry, I'm confusing you. But when you compare this one to this one, the knot notation is, is opposite. Lay that back down. The next solution is uh, a loop with a loop on the inside. And then there's a loop and a loop inside of a loop. However, I believe that topologically, these solutions are equal um, right here. Um, in terms of their paper solutions, they're not because they contort that way. But two loops on the inside is the same as two loops on the outside in terms of their graphs. Um, they're equal. Uh, so maybe there's five solutions, but there's actually four if we say that these are equal. They all have two vertices, four edges, three faces, and a Betty number three. A Betty number three is really simple. That you want to know how many edges can we take away so the vertices are still connect. So we take away this edge, we take away this edge, this edge, and this edge, and we have the Betty number because the vertices are still connected with no enclosures. Um, and that holds true with the Mobius strips with, with three flips. But they're more complex, and I believe this is an MP-complete problem that 
the solutions get more numerous and the solution times get more numerous. So when you have three flips cut down the middle, you have a resulting loop that has eight twists. It takes six knot intersections. If we go back to my page, here's the solutions with three flips. And I haven't yet found all the solutions in the symmetrical pairs. Because these guys come in matching pairs uh, with symmetries, I believe that these guys also do too. But I haven't yet found all the matching pairs. Um, and it's all very strange. But to work out in graph theory, how many um, graphs there are that are uh, Eulerian circuits with two vertices and four edges, I believe that problem is very difficult in mathematics and no one's actually found the solution. This equation here, um, 2n minus 1 in brackets factorial factorial over 3 to the power of n plus 1 minus 1 over 2 to the n plus 1, um, that tells you how many double Euler and circuits there are in multigraphs with n edges. Um, but I haven't yet found the equation that tells me how many of these guys there are. I've done this through like the brute force kind of algorithm, but with the more complex um, knot and diagrams and graphs resulting from three flip Mobius strips cut down the middle that yield knot diagrams with a cross number of six and uh, multigraphs that have six vertices, I have yet not found um, all the paper solutions. But so far, the paper solutions match very nicely the graphs. Um, so I'm trying, still trying to figure this out. We're reading a selection of papers by um, uh, Graham Bridgewell of the London um, Economics School of Economics. Um, another paper. And um, it's, it's just very much beyond my ability, but we're slowly plowing through it. That's it. And the time is 8.17, 28 seconds by UTC on the 20th.